Well, welcome back to Supers Live. We have got Keith going on your pal in the broadcast booth. Uh, sh <laughs> shake it off the sweat. Probably needs a beer or two after that one. A dominating win in the 2018 Hickory Hustle. Claiming his first ever North Carolina Swing Championship. Keith, did you ever think you were going to be able to pull one of these things off? Oh, I was really wondering. I uh, got really close last year and just come up a little bit short. And uh, I, I have to admit, I, I ran a lot of laps today practicing for this thing. And it's one of the ones I really wanted to win. So I'm just elated that I got it. Keith, what, I mean, how nerve-wracking was it at the end of this race coming up on that gaggle of cars? I mean, there was a lot of guys that were battling for position. How tough was that to, to see those guys right in front of you? Well, it really threw me off. That's with you. It really, really threw me off. Um, I had a pretty, pretty good car, but I was still undecided on like three changes today. And after talking to my teammate Steve on the phone, uh, he kind of taught me into a, a setup to go with just because when the tires heated up and it got a little slick out there, I would be able to still roll the corners okay off. And uh, I practiced daytime. I I thought for sure last year we ran daytime, so I sat the car for daytime. And when we, when, uh, we started at night, it was a shock. But, man, the car was just so good in the beginning. And then I come up on uh, the middle of the pack, fight for position, and I'm thinking, wow, I'm I'm burning my stuff up way, way too early, and I didn't want to get, you know, goof them up. I uh, I was gonna let them, you know, race for position because I didn't I didn't mind say, oh, I better cool my tires down, and I, I was just totally shocked when I came up on them. But you know, like uh, gentlemen, like we have in this league. They um they see me coming and uh, once they got sorted out they had no problem you know giving giving me a line and uh, well, I I just can't believe it I just cannot believe just how good that car stayed all through the race so um I want to give a shout out to Icy's on top my wife Cindy um uh she really supports not only this league but me. And uh, my teammate Steve, uh, my dad Jim Mayfield, helping with these setups and stuff. Uh, Supers, first to finish servers. Uh, Breeze Graphics. And uh, I mean, he's awesome on the video production stuff, but I suggest uh, checking out his website. He does a lot of really cool graphic, uh, graphic art and stuff too. So uh, a big thanks to him. But man, I just can't believe it. I'm, I'm still a little beside myself. <laughs> <laughs> and rightfully so, Keith Powell. Congratulations. Fantastic job. Your first ever North Carolina Swing Championship propels you with the 15 bonus points right into the lead of the Gold Crest Wing Championship. So what a run. Congratulations, Keith. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, just just the thank you. Thanks, Supers, uh, a lot. And, and this, uh, you know, I want to say uh, Brad came in. He, he knows about supers. He knows about racing, but just uh, track awareness, where he is on the track and just listening to him talk before the race, watching him race. I'm just super glad that we got another member in here as good as he is. So I, I can't wait till he gets up to speed, which won't be long. And he'll be racing uh, right there for wins with us. So uh, I just want to give a shout out to him. Super glad he joined this league. And definitely doing a great job out there. And the winner says so that it must be true. Uh, Keith Powell, your winner of the Hickory Hustle in the 2018 15th Annual North Carolina Swing. Well, he mentioned the guy that was uh, knew where he was at on the track. Had a pretty good race for about the first 25 laps or so. Faded to the back a little bit. Ended up coming home in fifth position. Brad Keezer, you got your first Hickory Hustle in. Your first North Carolina Swing. The first five races of your Supers career were the toughest swing that you'll see all season. How do you feel coming away from this on a Thursday night after starting on Tuesday? I feel okay. Um, would have liked a little stronger finish tonight. Uh, 
kind of, the car kind of faded a little bit more than I wanted to, but I was making sure to stay on a Keith's way. I know he was cruising and there was a, a good competition for everybody else in contention for the title. So it really was still about logging laps, learning the feel of the car and felt more comfortable tonight. But like I said, it kind of burnt the right front off around lap 50. And then from there, we're just kind of cruising through just to, again, log some laps on it. But all in all, it was a good week and excited to be here. Brad, what was your favorite track of, of, of the uh, five that we ran? Hickory by far. I have to say, I do remember playing this game way back in probably like NASCAR 3 or something like that. My uncle and I, Jamie Letcher, downloaded this track and we ran it. I actually believe on NASCAR 2 where it was the old keyboard racing. So kind of had an idea of Hickory and uh, loved the old short track racing, very similar to that. So it was kind of tailor-made and just got to clean things up and be a little stronger next time. Brad Keezer will be one of the drivers looking forward to racing next week at Myrtle Beach Speedway for the Black Cat Classic coming up uh, as we wrap up our first month of our 15th season and uh, staying down south now for a while. And and uh, in two weeks, we've got a really big race coming up, our 15th anniversary special, Triple 33s, three different platforms, three different mods. It's going to be an exciting time. Hopefully, we'll have some old members back that uh, we haven't seen for a while. So you want to make sure you join us in two weeks for our 15th anniversary special. But coming up next week on Supers.net and on our Twitch channel, it's the Black Cat Classic from Myrtle Beach Speedway in South Carolina. So we look forward to seeing you here. And uh, again, we want to say congratulations to our winner of the Hickory Hustle and our 2018 North Carolina Swing Champion, Keith Powell of Carrollton, Ohio, his first ever North Carolina Swing Championship. And great job by him out there. Well, folks, we're going to wrap up the North Carolina Swing. It's been a long three nights of racing, five tracks, two sim platforms, one champion. It has been a great one this year, and uh, we hope that uh, you enjoyed it. If you're tuning in and have never seen these cars race before or like short track pavement oval racing or just like sim racing, and you want to know more about what we do here at Supers, you need to go to supers.net, click on the About tab, and learn a little bit more about why we're not your ordinary sim racing league or gaming clan and we don't claim to be a clan we're a super modified sim racing sanction we do it professionally ages 16 and over and we uh we welcome anyone that wants to come and race and uh, if you want to go for the gold like these drivers did here tonight it's a 25 dollars donation and all of that money all of it not one cent goes to anything but the dion parish memorial benevolent fund for super modified so that money goes to help injured super modified drivers and their families in times of need so we hope that you learn more about us we hope that you would be interested in joining us or if you just like following us uh, on twitch and, uh, and watching our broadcast we like that too hit that follow button help us move towards the affiliate uh, position and uh, that'll help us bring you even better streams so Glad you could all join us here tonight. We will be back next week for the Black Cat Classic at Myrtle Beach Speedway. Before we go, we want to send our condolences to the Bill Height family. Bill Height passing over the weekend, uh, 88 years old, one of the legendary innovators in the formation of the Super Modified Division through the 60s and 70s and well into the 80s, um, an engineer by trade, uh, a veteran in the Korean War. Uh, passing away at his home in Mobile, Alabama. So uh, rest in peace, Bill Height, creator of the rear engine four-wheel drive super modified. So another great one gone. So until next week, we'll keep the Height and Hevron families in our thoughts and prayers, and we'll be back with the Black Cat Classic. Until then, have a great weekend, and keep it wingside up and wheels to the ground.